kiddos and welcome to our second video of take a look at a book with Kat. That's me. So let's get started. Today our book is called Drawing a Bridge and this is a book that's all about connection. Drawing a Bridge. When you go to school, what do you see? I see people, lots of people. Some of them wear hijabs, some of them wear hats, some of them have carnation pink clothes. So there's a closer look. Look at all the people at school. And you can see that they all look really different. Some of them have long gold rod locks. Some of them have red orange ponytails and still some have almost no hair at all. Look at all the different kids playing on the playground. I don't look like everyone I see, but we can still be friends. We can draw bridges to one another. Drawing a bridge means finding a common connection. I put my lunch on my aquamarine, aquamarine tray and look for a place to sit. So there she is looking for a place to sit with her aquamarine tray. I decide to talk to the new girl at school. Her name is Emma. Emma likes horses. I like horses too. The bridge we draw is Chestnut, just like her favorite horse at the barn. This is our connection. So these two girls built a connection because they both like horses. And now they're talking about all the little horses. In gym class, I met Zade. Zade likes to paint, just like me. His favorite color is purple. Our bridge is violet. So there they are, her and Zade with their purple, their violet bridge, building their connection because they both like to paint. In art class, I met a girl named Lee. Lee says that she's trained to earn a black belt in karate. I've never done karate, but I ask if she can teach me. We draw a bridge. So they've drawn a bridge because one of them is interested in learning what some, the other one already knows how to do, and that's karate. In the library, I meet Edmund. Edmund and I love to read. We pick out a storybook with sweet peat green cover and read together. This is our bridge. So there they are reading a book together. At home, I tell mom about my day. I tell her I met Emma and Zaid and Lee and Edmund. We may look different, but we like a lot of the same things. Drawing a bridge makes a more colorful world. So there's all the bridges she drew during her day at school. Connections are all around you and bridges are just waiting to be drawn. What color connects you to others? Draw a bridge to someone you'd like to meet. The end. So after this book, I want you to think about all the connections that you can make today when you are going throughout your day. Maybe you can build a connection to someone you already know that you didn't know exist or maybe you can build a connection with someone new. Have a nice day. Bye.